Katia City Expats Club is a non-profit social organisation and our speakers are volunteers. The club as such assumes no responsibility or liability for the professional reputation of or the quality of services provided by the speaker today. The speakers are here purely for your entertainment, enjoyment and for your knowledge, to give you knowledge. Now, today's speaker, I'd really like to introduce you to our speaker today because I have been to him for treatment, so I recommend him to anyone. He's a physiotherapist, Nachaya Bamrungcha. Oh, re reasonably okay. <laughs> <laughs> and his topic will be on lower back pain, type, diagnosis and physical therapy management, including exercise. He operates the Royal Physiotherapy Clinic in Patia. That's in Third Road, opposite Tony's, um, Tony's Big Gym, along that section. He has certificates from Australia, from two different unis there, and also from Oxford University in the UK. Please give him a warm PCEC welcome. Good morning, everyone. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Natsia Bamrungsia. You can call me, my name is Nat. Today I would like to discuss and talk about low back pain. Now I focus on degenerate, degeneration and herniated discs and I'd like to show you how to exercise or manage the pain. Yeah. If you have any questions, we can discuss after uh, after the topic, this is the office on third floor. Okay, I would like to introduce myself. I'm graduate from Rock City University and continue my education. Uh, I'm a certified medical practitioner. It is an uh, Australian uh, technique and graduate from University of uh, Curtin in Australia and University of Oxford in the UK and now I study in my Master of Sports Science to Anakon University. Okay. I'd like to the first I'd like to discuss about uh classify of the lower back pain. We have non specific and specific. Non specific is from the impairment from the from the movement. <laughs> Movement impairment and control impairment. This uh, <clears throat> problems main is from the structure. The people have wrong, uh, not correct or poor structure for a long time. Or sometimes it's like a, from your work, you're sitting for a long time in the not correct position in the chair or some office room or some kind of spot that can make you have this problem. If you can uh, issue observation yourself, you also can, can see if you check at the middle when you bend forward and backward, someone bend forward from the hips, some people use the back muscle, it's also Increasing the risk of fracture. Okay. okay. This one specific disorder. We would like to discuss about uh, neuro neuropathic pain or this degeneration. Okay. I'd like to classify the uh, the stress of degeneration, or you will understand more about the herniated disc. Honey at this or HNP, we have four stretch, four stretch of the lower back pain. In the first, they call degenerative, degenerative, uh, degenerative chain. This problem is 
แคมเปญเป็น r e g e t t i n g all นะครับ and another one is this p o l a r this p o l a r is mean This is our spot now. This polar is mean. This one is protus. This polar is mean that this move out from the alignment and touching the, the not touching, not yet, not touching the n o t h e r It just moving out and make the canal, the canal between the channel between the nerve and that is is narrow space. This one you can sometimes you can paint from the side side thickness if the if the problem in the our L five S one, but this one not all the time that we have problem. You can have this problem some other position. And when extrusion, this is quite high grade. You can see that this is move and touching the nerve. นะครับนุ่มมอาฟอมเดอะไลเมนต์แอนด์ทัชชิ่งเดอะเนอะดิสพอร์ตยูคือเพนต์ออลเดอะไทม์เอสเปเชียลเวนยูซิทบิคอสเวนยูซิทติ้งยูอินครีสเพรสเชอร์ฟอมเดอะสไตน์บัตเวนซัมส์ออฟพีเพิลเวนยูอ์สแตนดิ้งออฟวอล์กิ้งอิสเดอะเพนต์ลิลิวอิสบิคอสเดอะเพรสเชอร์อิสมูฟดาวน์ทูเดอะเพลวิทแอนด์เวนยูมูฟเดอะเพลวิทอิสมีนยูอินครีสเดอะสเปซแอนด์ลิลิวเดอะเทนชั่นนะครับ And the last one, sequestration is is move move out and they they for this t h a t you need operation only. Like physical therapy cannot help. Okay, this one I want to show you the nerve the from from the degeneration that we have. h uh, that is that is is. Very very small small this and narrowing. I will show you on the X-ray with the uh, normal and abnormal again. n k a this one and after that they, they get like a impingement the nerve, but impingement the nerve from this case from the degeneration, not from this herniation. Okay, this one. You can see this part is this one the nerve, the compression the nerve, and then you will feel pain down for a uh, feel pain start from the back and traveling to the leg, from behind or from the front or the back is depend on what the level of the problem. And not only the this or nerve that make our problem. Also, the facet joint. The facet joint is mean the joint between the this. You can say the facet joint. The facet joint is mean so that up here. This problem. How how do you know do you have the facet joint? Main of the facet joint is limit motion, especially on your neck. You can see when you move move to the left or the right side. Why you cannot move it is because the Facet joint stenosis or facet joint stiffness, and the back, the back is quite like a high degree of movement. Sometimes it's difficult to classify. This is from the facet joint, from the disc, or from the muscle. But the neck, we can see different. This one, the fa the facet joint, facet joint. Okay, when we see on the X-ray or the MRI, I want to show you this point. Is it normal space? Normal space. When you when you when go to the hospital and the doctor decide to do the the X-ray, and you show you. this one is close. It is very very narrow space. I mean this is the problem area. I mean this the generation and you get compression and you will pain all the time here. Yeah? This one the test. When we test, we we call the SLR. Uh, the SLR or we test for the side big nerve. You can test by yourself. This one, like a 
just help you relax and someone lift up your leg. 65 degree. If you feel pain on your back, okay, it means positive from the uh, you have nerve problem, psychic nerve problem. Sometimes the pain from piriformis. The piriformis syndrome, this means the small muscle here, the nerve just across. If this one tightness, then it can be squeeze the sciatic nerve. Or if the side, side, uh, piriformis muscle is inflamed, it's so irritated with the sciatic nerve too. This, this problem is you have the experience of the pain. The pain will be on this area. If you place your hand on the, your bottom, on this area, the nerve drawing from, from, from this area. Okay. okay, then the postural control. Today we would like to, I would like to the, to explain about posture, how the posture involves the back pain. You can see, when you burn forward or burn backward, when you bend forward, this position, you will see the, the pressure we move from the posterior, from the posterior to anterior, and you move forward. If your muscle or ligament not not strong, especially when you are lifting up the wrong position, if you're lifting like it, it increase the pressure. It means you can get we call herniated this protrusion that is removed and touching the nerve. And sometimes, yeah, someone when you just move like uh, on the lateral side and pick up something and why you get pain is because of this uh, pressure. Okay. okay, and then we see the curve of the spine. Maybe you can check your spine at the middle, which one that you have. This one we call sway back. Sway back is... Sway back. This one. And this one, lumbar lordosis. Most of the uh, the people we have lumbar lordosis, about six, sixty-five percent, we have we have this problem. But this one is quite a little bit old. And this one we call thoracic kyphosis. Thoracic kyphosis and lumbar kyphosis, they come together. And this one, forward neck. This is the problem with the. The, the people have neck injury or neck pain or sometimes the pain from the neck can create to the head and sometimes the people just like uh, understand that they have migraine but most of the time the migraine we, we not call the migraine in the case of the uh, cervical problem because we have cervical to stenosis the cervical to here you can see the artery the artery, the big one, is coming across and supply to your head muscle. And you feel like a squeezing and tightening and vomiting sometimes. Okay. It's from, from uh, cervical to stenosis. For the treatment, if you try to manipulate this, open it, relieve all of the tension, and then you will have the blood will circulate normally, and then the, the pain or the tension, the headache will getting better slowly. Okay. This one we already explained. Uh, I'd like to you understand that... Oops, sorry. This one. The pelvic and the back is all of the lead. Today we will focus with the structure, not, not, not focus on the muscle, Naka. Uh, the structure you can see here when you have anterior tube of the pelvic and the, the thoracic, thoracic spine you get like a roll out automatic but if you try to correct the position of the pelvic and then it will come back yes. 
you, you can check like uh, by yourself, like uh, you, even you standing on this position, you can see now it's more, more like this. But when you try to adjust to your pelvic, the spine, the thoracic spine still come back, back to the alignment. This one. And this is normal, normal curve. This one we call hyperlordosis curve, that including the, uh, the pelvic, make the anterior and posterior to like an imbalance of the pelvic. This one, flat back. Some people have stress back, no curve. This also increase the pressure on the, on the lower back. Like <coughs> this one, scoliosis. Did someone have scoliosis here? Scoliosis, problem. Yeah. This, this one is quite, I can say, difficult because most of the client we have from uh, from your your you was born but you never shed and you don't know until you are growing up and then you can see the the spine slowly you can see the curve when you ten years ten years old ten year or twenty twelve years old okay. before that you not see because your spine more flexible and also your parents will they, they didn't check it. <coughs> it's scoliosis. What we treat scoliosis, we just try to uh, correct the alignment. We correct alignment by the muscle. We have to move the spine, strengthening, strengthening, strengthening this part and this part and across all the muscle, adjust the pelvic and shoulder. To come to be like it's quite difficult uh, physical therapy we can say success like we can help only 50 percent and then the, the patient help another 50 percent and then get 100 percent it's di different like a degenerative or honey as this that one we can help you like 80 percent like take, take quite quite long but you you will win coolant And this one, okay, we already, already this talking about the muscle, elector spine, the muscle that connect to the from the pelvic to the spine. If this muscle very tight, it may just increase the pressure here. And left that abdominis, if left that abdominis weakness. It's also the cannot support the spine. And that's why when you go to see the physio or the doctor, they just try to tell you, try to train core muscle, the important core muscle. Core muscle is including like that abdominis, like that abdominis is connected in the front. And, uh, okay, sorry. And then the posterior part of the back, elector spine or, or everything. And also including gluteus muscle, like a three part. Ah, this one. You can say weakness of abdominis and weakness of the gluteus and hamstring. And then tightness of the back and tightness of the hip flexor. If you try to adjust the balance of uh, the, the balance of this muscle, I mean strengthening it. Strengthening this part, a little bit the pressure, a little bit the tension from this part by stretching, and then the pelvic will come to alignment and the pressure on the spine will release. Okay, this one we already. Okay, let me see this one. The honey that this, our this move and touching the nerve here. And I will, disc I will discuss again what the physical therapy helps for the herniated disc or for the nerve condition. This one, the first hip joint, if you see in the anterior view or in the front, you can see just on the side. 
when you go to when the physio manip or when you go to see the chiropractor, yeah, just manip the first, we manip the first and just, then it unlock and then you feel free and the pain relieve. Okay, then for the physical therapy management, the first is uh, when you come to, to see us, we uh, refer for the doctor or not refer, we are also work, working quite, quite the same. We do assessment and then diagnose it. And then if you have pain, we just try to relieve the pain while using the ultrasound, heat, erratic, adjust the movement. Or we have the traction machine if you have like a, a nerve compression. But the traction machine, some people, they, if, if, if you have, if some have really, really bad experience with the traction, it means the level of the disproportion is different, different level. If you have in the posterior, like a normal disc, the traction will be working really good. If you have another level, the, the traction will kill you because it's increased the pressure. Okay. okay. Now, this is a simple exercise that everybody can, can do it. Like I try to adjust alignments of the pelvic, especially when you wake up in the morning. Anterior tilt, anterior tilt. I like to. The easy thing is you are sitting, uh, sitting on the wall, like a, and try to place your lumbar spine in the wall. <laughs> the technique is to try to place your lower back. Yes, then you will see. The level of the pelvis is changed now. Okay. And when, when your back moving to this direction, the tension is relieved. The tension on the back is relieved. Okay. You just stand it and then doing it. If you have the wall guide, the wall will guide to prevention the compensate, uh, the shoulder compensate. It's, it's, it's quite, quite easy. You can maybe show you the biomechanic out movement. <coughs> this one in the beginning, like how for the people who have uh, hyperlordosis and then we try to pass the back to to the wall for it. This this is the wall. When you push back to the wall and you can see the position the position of the pelvic and spine. And spine moving like it. And then the space will open. The tension on the lower back will then leave. Okay. You should keep doing it this slowly, slowly to relieve all the tension. In the morning, 10 times, 20 times, yeah, that, that's fine. Okay. Or you also can do when you lay on the back, also, this one. In the morning, okay, your spine will be like this. And then you try to 
lift up your leg and then just move your pelvic, move your back to the bed. This, this one. Yes. Can you imagine or not? Yeah. My assistant can, can show a little bit. Okay, on this position. And then press your back down. You can see the position of the pelvic. Yes, and relax. Yes, and down. Yep. Just, just doing this exercise. This exercise is good with the uh, chronic pain. Okay. Very good with the chronic pain. It's like a, when you move all of the direction, you feel pain. Then just try, try to to work with it. And another one, someone who have like a pain on the side, left or right side, is also different. If you have pain to, for example, pain more on the right side, how can you do it? Shift weight, weight shifting. Sometimes, sometimes we have the muscle will cutting on, for example, on the right side, muscle cutting or from the spinal stenosis or from the facet joint. What you can do is, if your back swear or shifting on this position, okay, it's back to the right side like this. You try to readjust, move it in the alignment. Move the pelvic, fix your spine, uh, fix your shoulder, move only the pelvic to take off the pain and relieve the tension. The technique is <coughs> if you feel pain on this side, and then someone has swear at it, you just put your hand, put your hand on in this position, flip the shoulder, flip the shoulder, not move the shoulder, and then just move, just shift back like this, a little bit, like this. Just very small movement, we, we, we don't need, like, if, if you move this position, uh, movement like this, you compensate. You mobilize your thoracic and shoulder, thoracic spine and shoulder. But if you move only small head, then you get only a specific little lower back. Okay. This this is the The exercise program that you can relieve the tension to lift up your leg like it, and after that just move to the lateral side to decrease the pressure and increase the movement. Okay. In the the first you can do only one leg, one leg lifting. Lifting when you lifting your leg. Concentrate with the lower back, lower back pressing down to the bed. On this position, try left side and right side. You can do 10 times, 3 sets. And then, both leg. If you, this, this position, you try to find the angle that you not feel pain of pain free. If you feel pain at 90, Try move a little bit more. If you still pain, move in more. And still pain, come back. Starting in, in the starting position. Okay. If this degree do not, not feel pain, then move to the side. Rotation. Rotation it. You can move far. It depends on the pain. The exercise technique is pain-free technique. If you feel pain or tension, it means it's over movement. Then you have to check the degree. Uh, check out the degree. This one. 
the biomechanics that uh, the movement that I showed you, the pelvic video like it. And then the pressure from lower, lower, lower spines will relieve because you are in the space, in the space of the lower back. And then when you move lower tension to the left and the right, when you, okay, when you fix it and low tension on the right side, you will increase the space on the right side. If you pain on this side or like a down pain, you just focus on this side. But the technique is pain free technique and try to move to a different left and right side. When you move to the to the right side, left left side the tension relief. And the right side is increase the pressure a little bit. Then when we move to this side, this these are uh, the 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 opposite. How to say the opposite side will relieve, and this side will pressure. Like that. When you move to the right side, right side will relieve because the spine is open. And when you move to the left side, the left side will relieve. This one just just this simple one. Like a for static nerve stretching and hamstring, you just holding this and then lift up your leg up and down up and down. Stre uh, for static nerve stretching and hamstring stretching at the same time. Okay, this one is just for. Oops. This technique we call it coming. Relax, relax all the spine and shoulder, relieve all the tension, and after that, this thing up and down. This up and down. When you move it up, your spine open, the pressure will take off. When you are going down, the muscle will activate. When you will uh, relieve the pressure and uh, stimulate the muscle at the same time. This one also can use this when we have the uh, acute pain. Okay. This is Malukan pain, it's quite advanced. Uh, yeah. Try, if you're not sure, try to not do it because if you do wrong, it means you are increase the pressure. When you come to the clinic, I will show you how to uh, which point for for the pressure that you you have to to connect it is normally when we use this one we call Malikan Malikan technique is Australian technique we connecting the bell with the pressure we go to this direction and if you have for example L4 uh, L5 level we connect the belt on the spinal process. And after that, you move your spine back, and then you like mobilize or traction yourself. Then you, your spine will open. This is quite quite special technique. Have to carefully limit. bit. This one is just normal exercise for adjust balance between upper and lower. With the medicine ball. Also, this one we get we stimulate the muscle, maybe pain. This one we use the foam roller. We also use this foam roller to relieve the tension from all of the spine. This one we also use the ball.
So now is the chance to ask all the questions about your own lower back pain or so whatever other back problems you might have. Um, many people who sit down a lot and we get tight psoas muscles. What is a good exercise to release tight psoas? Okay, I understand. Okay. Uh, do you have a problem or someone has a problem? But everything wants that. You. But the people have sitting quite long. Can you show your hands to adjust your hand? You might have. Sorry, you might have to explain what the psoas muscles are because I'm not sure everybody will know. Uh, the psoas muscle is coming from the spine, connecting the L2, L3, L4, and it's across past to the hip, the internal side. If this muscle tie is increased, the pressure on the spine. I will show you later how can you stretch him on it. For if you're sitting for a long time, from this position, this in, increase, increase the tightness from the psoas muscle. You just try to take out your spine, like this, this one, this one. The people, especially the, uh, in the sitting in the competition for a long time, or you can put your hand on this and take out, take the pressure on it to relieve the tension. This one to adjust alignment. And yeah, for the stretching size, you also can do, you know the <coughs> yoga, yoga position? It's a simple one you can do it is. When you do this one, try to <coughs> stretching uh, hip flexor and so as sometimes working together. You just try and then this should on this position. Then you will get a little bit tight on sometimes it's more tight on the uh, hip flexor, but never mind because it's working together. Someone you lay on the lay on the bed. Can you lay on it? It's strong enough. Strong. Not too. Not too. I collect the one. Oh, die, die, collect. Need to call ambulance. Oh, this one looking. This position. you want to stretch in this on the right side, try to make your way like this. Mm. This one is specific for the psoas muscle. <coughs> when you're sitting, <coughs> sitting on the limb like a one, one third, like in, in your buttock, and after that, slowly, like, no pillow, and you can just make it. And then try to lift up one leg, adjust, adjust the, the first, relieve the tension, relieve the tension, first relieve the tension, and after that, hold this, mm -hmm. and then try to stretch all this way down. Or call you the partner to help you push this. Push your leg down. Good morning. I have a lot of friends that are golfers that have uh, back pain from time to time. I was wondering if you could recommend some exercises or stretches for golfers. And also I have a second question. I have a, a friend who has one of these machines that tilts you upside down and stretches you somehow. Is that, is that helpful? In the Russian table, you mean? Yes, I guess. Okay. Uh, the people who have problem, especially Golfer, uh, if 
to understand the uh, biomechanical movement, the pubic, the first from from the imbalance of the muscle and not not as the over rotation of the spine. This this one is can cause is a chronic problem, but uh, if you try to stretching specific on the lower back and pubic, call stabilization and also adjust between left and you have to say your friend ask your friend that they have the shoulder level the shoulder level the same the same or different if the shoulder level different that is mean they have to uh, treat the shoulder together from the pubic if you treat only back then the shoulder level still regular like it is will come back again and call muscle the important <coughs> Try to stretch in 10 or 15 minutes before you pay because your uh, spot is orange anyway. If you stretching enough, then the muscle is not no, doing the same. Okay? The body, uh, the body call table is quite good. I uh, have to cover it if you have like a lower back pressure. Okay. And you can you can use that one. Hello. <clears throat> Good morning. Um, I have two questions for you. One, I have uh, constant neck pain. <clears throat> I do have a little pinch there in my neck. So I have to sit. I sit at a computer for maybe 20 minutes to a half hour I'm not very straight pain. The other is I have a nerve in my thigh. So I assume that's a pinched nerve from my back, my lower back. So I don't know what to do about that. Um, I do remember when I had traction a few years back, that would help with the neck pain. I don't know if you do traction, or maybe I have to see you, you would have to um, do x-rays. But uh, I'd like to know what to do to get rid of the, the pain in the leg, because that really affects me when I try to sleep at night. Okay. Uh, the first question, the pain on the neck, especially when you're sitting. You have to understand the biomechanic of the sitting when you are Speaking especially when you do computer, you drive motorbike or drive car. The position of your arm on this position. When you lifting on this position, you increase the pressure on the thoracic and cervical spine, upper thoracic and lower cervical spine, and that's why the pain starts on this on this position. We call the shoulder compact. When you're moving up, the thoracic spine increases the movement. It's moving on this direction. And then your position of the neck. I'm not sure you're sitting forward or you're sitting upward or upright. If you sit forward, is it increasing the pressure on the, on the spine? For this, you just adjust the, the, your computer. Or when you're typing for a long time, and sit and then relax. Relax and then or you can have the pillow or use the pillow to support. Or sometimes if you feel pain, you just get movement or stretching. Yes, or rotation a little bit. Yes, or and after that, the one important is thoracic spine. The thoracic spine you can adjust is by doing lifting up, back and moving down. This one also relieve the tension from the cervical thoracic in the shoulder. The technique is one lifting up and then backwards and after that it twist back up, back and then down like this. You just try to do this with the okay. And for your lower back, I'm not sure the pain is from the anterior thigh or posterior thigh. The anterior or posterior. In the front? On the side? On the side? On the 
the side of care. And you can, you do you do you have the trigger point or not? Or the pain just going down? It will, it'll, it'll travel down, but even right now there's not pain in the leg. I'm a little like touch, but I can touch exactly where that nerve is. Oh. And, and I can feel it right now. If I touch it, you get that. The nerve ending is, is, is right here. But yes. when the, okay. the back starts, then it'll travel all the way down to here and travel them down. Yes. From this case, is the problem not from sciatic nerve, but it is above the level. Sciatic nerve is come from the L4, uh, L5, S1, but he has problem is upper level. L3, L4, sometimes join and in the front, sometimes it can be on the side a little bit. Okay. The, the exercise that I show you can help, the traction also can help if you respond with the traction. And if you have trigger point, you can try to manage the trigger point by the trigger point relief or sometimes we use the foam roller okay, to, to, it can, can help. Next question. Over here at the back. Hi there. Uh, most of us spend a lot of time sitting down, so I wonder if you could say what kind of chair and support we should look for in the chairs that we use. Okay. Then the chair that support. The first, the, the level of the chair. If you see, try to get keep 90 degrees, not very low. If 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 uh, if the chair really high, I think many people have experience in the bar. If you sit in the bar for a long time, the bar chair is like it. When you sit in, your leg down like it is increase the pressure. Or if you sit in like it, the the chair is very low. Then is the the problem with to the middle of the back. Yeah. And the good chair is 90 degree. 90 degree from the hip, knee, and ankle. And support. You should have support on the back. Yes, especially on the low back. Or if you have not, not had any support, just put like a small pillow on pushing. Support it. Yes. Arm chair is also the important that I tell you the arm chair would help for take off the pressure from the thoracic and cervical spine. What are your early, are your early charges, please? How much do you charge per hour? 750 baht. Thank you. 1,000 for you. <laughs> 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 Hello. Uh, what can cause a numbness in the left finger only? This finger in the left hand. The, the finger. Just one finger, the middle. On the middle. Okay. The left hand. Is that from the neck? Ah, uh, it can be from the neck or from the elbow. <clears throat> and what can be done for that? Exercises. Ah, uh, we have to assess when the problem is exactly from the neck, from the cervical spine, uh, from the spondylus and the nerve problem or you have we call the problem on the body of what is also the nerve trauma or you have carpal tunnel syndrome or not if you have all kind of this problem you just try to relieve the tension or uh, that we can also can do mobilize nerve mobilization okay. but if you are over 75 years old Everybody has to accept that we have nerve degeneration. If you try to treat, treat, sometimes it's not less fun, it means, okay, it's nerve is degeneration. We can take Ludica for that's for nerve. Or if we make sure, okay, we have problem with the cervical, the, uh, cervical spine and trap the nerve, we just traction it, increase the movement, relieve the tension from the nerve, and then it's recovery. I mean the 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 the, uh, the problem on your your finger will getting slowly better. See, thank you. Do you in your clinic do you also do acupuncture or? Uh, uh, 
be not doing that. Acupressure or chiropractic there? Uh, only physical therapy. And do you work with insurance companies here? She insurance, video with the insurance. If, if you have insurance, you come to the clinic. Then we uh, give, uh, you have to pay first, and then you came back to your insurance later with the medical certificate and invoice or the receipt that you can come back. It depends on some insurance you can come back 100%. Some you can come back 75%. It depends on your insurance. But 100% you can come back. But the insurance companies recognize you as a uh, covered item. Yes. yes. OK, thank you. Yes. Good night. First of all, I want to um, give a, a what's the word I want? I, yeah, I'm one of those that has gone to Kunan for help when I had really tight shoulders and he helped me a lot and I think there are a lot of people in this room that have. What I, my question is, um, is there a way, if you have a problem that has been diagnosed as a nerve problem but the doctors aren't sure if it's a nerve uh, disease or a neuropathy or a pinched nerve, is there a way you can uh, do something to tell the difference whether it's a pinched nerve or not? Uh, yes. If new neuropathy problem is mean uh, you must have a problem for more than three or four years, and the doctor diagnosis they use special uh, diagnosis with the uh, EMT NCV NCV they do NCV test that they show you have degeneration of the nerve. That means the nerve stimulate is different, or if we test that you have just a nerve compression, that we just can't manage it. Can you do that test? Uh, NCV, you, you can do only the doctor in the hospital. Okay. And you, you bring the list out and then <laughs> we can fill it. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, I've just got one question down the front here, it's been waiting. Uh, I used to be a marathon runner, and I'd like to go back to it. For the past 10 years, I've been using an incline board, hanging by my feet for 30 minutes a day. Three years ago, something snapped in my spine, and I was crippled. I had to learn to walk all over again. I'm getting better, slowly. My problem is, when I sleep at night, if I try to roll over, I wake up instantly. The pain is just excruciating, right, from my lower back. And I don't know if there's anything I can do for that. I, I, I do some exercises, but... Maybe you can suggest some other ones. Okay. It's similar like that we have, we call lumbar stenosis. Lumbar stenosis is the pain most of the time in, at night or in the morning before you wake up. Uh, when you wake up, sorry. When you wake up, you have pain. And you try to relieve or uh, abate uh, the tension that I we demonstrated before and strengthening. The more important is core stabilization core stabilization to support, to stabilize the US spine like, uh, and delete the compression from the spine that you can do. Swimming also can help. Yeah, when you do swimming, try try to have this, like uh, 10 minutes and then break 5 minutes, 10 minutes and break 5 minutes, like, uh, and you can do it any time. Using the rest of the Yeah, can, can you? Yeah. Uh, I've just got one question quickly. Uh, here's a little tip. I, I spend a lot of time on computers, and I have a, of course the biggest thing you use is your mouse. So I have a pillow on my armrest, so I can really relax my shoulder with the mouse. It's a great tip. But I have a, you know, I have a problem back, with an L2 vertebrae, you know, L4 vertebrae. And why I have one of those chairs where I actually lean back at like 120 degrees when I do it, and that really seems to help my lower back it's a problem. Is that a good idea with the lean yes. back chair? Yes. It's mean we have different kind of the problem. The one we have not not heard is the problem that we have not from is different than the case. Most of the case if they spray back and we have more pain, but if you in the car, do more exercise that you feel get much better. It's, it's, it's mean you relieve the tension from this part in the, in the anterior part, not posterior part. The exercise can help 
video chance to call McKinsey exercise. McKinsey exercise is by McKinsey's fix this. You can check on the internet how the man can see the inside work. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, if I'm out of time. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you. Before you go, before you go, can we just present you with this certificate? It's our thanks for you coming here today. You can put it up in your... Can we turn it like this so we can get a photograph, please?